This is to answer Kenneth Delancey's comment. Um, you haven't had much bad luck in the Philippines because you're a boring guy. Straight laced people seldom have problems because they tread on the safe side of life. When I'm in the Philippines, I go wherever I want. I drink like a fish. Ex Navy, so proud. Uh, I go places you would never go and do things you would never do. I am the life of any party and can go out party anyone. I sing karaoke like Frank Sinatra. I'm an exciting, good looking guy. Excited people like me get into trouble. Boring people like you stay away from trouble. First thing I want to say is the guy's either an idiot, a troll, or suffering with mental conditions. Um, the way he describes himself is a typical drunken bum expat living off a military pension, making a problem of themselves wherever they go, and they think it's normal and the locals should just yield to them. Yes, he's right. Problems do follow these types of people, and they will put them in the ground eventually or at some point when they do something stupid, which is, he's quite proud to do things stupid because he, he's arrogant in that way. But I don't even know if the guy's actually a real person. So, But I thought I'd post this purely because this is how a lot of locals see expats. Because these people and similar people like this exist. Um, they are what used to be the problem in the Philippines. This is why you, when the US are helping with aircraft carriers and stuff in the region... A lot of locals will actually protest them uh, against them actually coming into the Philippines waters because um, they don't want them. Uh, they This is the stereotype they're talking about. And I know a lot of Americans feel anti-American because the Philippines reject them, but this is the type of guy they they absolutely hate. Um, but this will be the one and only post I'll bother with this guy, but I thought I would share it because now you can see why sometimes Filipinos hate foreigners um, predominantly Americans by the way purely because these guys are normally ex-services that served in the Philippines previously and were using um, Manila etc for R&R &R. Um, unfortunately they stigmatize the average expat which is why I quite happily live above that you know would I rather be a drunken bum the answer is no um, there is nothing wrong with partying Everybody does it sometime, but it's not an achievement. I outgrew that in my 20s. Um, in the same way, doing what you want, going where you want, is what? You know, um, it's not about being boring or whatever, because these videos are one very narrow window of what I do in my life. There's a lot of stuff that I don't discuss on the channel. And I'm not getting into a contest because this is another thing. The, there is no contest between expats. There is no, oh, I'm better than you because the, it's irrelevant. Everybody has their own lives and do what they want. If this guy assumes his life is better than everybody else, then I would assume his IQ level is below the average person. But does it affect me? The answer is no. But like I say, I just wanted to show that this comment, but also... Just to put things in perspective, when you see people look at you as if you're abusive, drunk, and they expect you to shout at them or stuff, it's because of people like this. Um, they've created that stigma, but I try to do the complete opposite, be polite, be nice, etc. Because that's if you set the standard, then that already separates you from this um, individual and stereotype of the average expat. Yeah.